Hello everyone. Welcome to the Digital Systems and Architecture Practical Series. Uh, we'll be doing the first practical, and I'm using the simulator Simul IDE. So this is the interface we get for the Simul IDE. I am uh, putting the link for this, downloading this particular software in the description section. You can download from there. It is a free software. So let us start with the first practical. Here we have to perform the experiment the, the the practical for verifying the gates so first we need to find the gates so here on, on the left side I, I can scroll and here i can see logic and here first i select the buffer so for selecting the not gate we first select the buffer i can just scroll it okay now this is a buffer i need to convert it to not gate so double click le left and uh, here we can see invert input i'll just click on use invert in sorry invert output so this click click here and we get this as a so this is the not gate now let us verify not gate for verifying not gate we need a uh, input and output so here we come so here we have the probe okay and then for input we use this fixed voltage so we keep it here okay now we connect this is the for the connection input connected this is the input connected sorry and then we connect the output so this is the connection is done now we turn on this now we when you turn on this this glows okay this is on so input is 0 output is 1 so this glowing it shows the output is 1 and here there is no light it means in input is 0 so I'm, if I click here this becomes 1 so this glowing so it is 1 and this is 0 so when input is 1, output is 0. When input is 0, output is 1. So this is how we verify the NOT gate. Now let us go for the AND gate. So just go to the logic. So here we have the logic. I select the AND gate. Okay. And then these are two, two inputs. So we need a probe, the output. Then we need two inputs. So two fixed voltage sources. We do the connection. The first one is the second one, and this is the output. So now we turn it on. So input is zero zero, output is zero. Then zero one again we have output as zero. For one zero again it is zero, and for one one we are getting it as one. So this is how the AND gate works. Okay, I'll just stop it. Now, uh, next we uh, do the NAND gate because we already have AND. We can verify NAND here itself. So just double click on this because in as we can see in this particular uh, options NAND is not AND is there, but we can we not NAND is not available. We can make this AND as NAND. Just double left click. We get this AND. So we can just select this invert. We can even increase the number of inputs from here. We have now two. I'm just keeping it two. If we make it as three, it will become three inputs. So we just need to invert the output. So here we have this the NAND gate. Now let us start the simulation. So for zero zero we are having one. Zero one is also one. One zero is also one. And one one is. 1 1 is 0 so this is how a NAND gate works 1 1 is 0 rest all are 1 output now I just close this I just uh, what I do I just replace I'll just delete this component okay I'll just delete this component okay, remove this component because in all the other for verifying all the other gates two inputs and the output is required we just need to replace the gate so I just select the OR gate so I put the OR gate here and then this input the second input and the output now we turn it on so for 0 0 it is 0 0 1 is 1 1 0 is 1 and 1 1 is uh, 1 1 is also 1 so this is how we verify the OR gate now stop it now right click on here we get this main so inward output so this or become will become nor so this is a nor gate you can see bubble is there in the nano there was a bubble at the output so this is the nor gate let us start 
so for 0 0 we are getting 1 0 1 is 0 1 0 is also 0 and 1 1 is also 0 so this is how we verify the working of a nor gate so and is opposite of nand and nor is opposite of or okay then uh, the last two gates so i'll just click here and remove and we take the xor gate this exclusive or gate do the connection have you done it on so 0 0 is 0 0 1 is 1 1 0 is also 1 and 1 1 is 0 okay so this is how the xor gate works you stop it and then double click and make inward output okay and then we start the simulation so 0 0 is 1 1 0 is 0 0 1 is also uh, 1 0 is also 0 okay and 1 1 is 1 okay so 0 0 is 1 1 0 is 0 0 1 is 0 and 1 1 is also 1 sorry so this is how the x this is the x nor gate okay when we invert this it becomes x nor gate this is the x nor gate so this is how we can easily verify the working using this simul ide software so that's all for this session thanks for watching